Hey, what's up guys, SCG Filmmakers here, and in this video we're going to be talking about the best way that you can lengthen and shorten your soundtracks in order to meet the length of your videos. Hey, what's going on guys, this is SCG Filmmakers, and if it's your first time checking this channel out, we talk about various ways we can improve our overall video shooting and editing skills, so if that's something you're looking at getting into, consider subscribing to this channel. Now, if you're anything like me when editing video, when picking the soundtrack for your specific video, you always found out that the soundtrack doesn't necessarily meet the overall length of the video. So no doubt you've taken that cut tool and then you've tried to figure out where like the end of a certain measure is or the perfect spot um, where to pick within that soundtrack is to kind of blend it in with the end of the soundtrack so that it ends really nice and fluid. But there's an easier way, man. There's an easier way. Um, and I'm glad to bring it to you guys today. But this is unfortunately through a software program called Adobe Audition. So unfortunately if you don't have audition um, you can't necessarily use this specific way but for those of you that do have audition let's go ahead and jump into it all right so let's go ahead and jump right into this man let's go ahead and open up audition and what we're gonna do is we're gonna find what soundtrack we're gonna use um, in this particular example I'm just gonna go ahead and go to like a music bed folder that I have just standard regular old soundtracks that I use for like some of my uh, wedding films and just for some uh, client work so let's go into music bed right here and I'm going to drag in just, I'm going to drag in this. I don't even know what it is. I'm just going to drag this into here. All right. Um, so we see here that this is a five minute and 51 second long uh, soundtrack, right? So I'm going to go ahead and close that. So a five minute and 51 second soundtrack. And let's say your film is only like two minutes and 30 seconds. So like I said, um, you can go ahead and cut the traditional way like in Premiere Pro and find out like wherever that specific sweet spot is and then combine it um, to match the end of the clip but there's a better way it makes it a lot more streamlined so check this out you go into um, multi-track right here and, and don't get it confused with the multi-track that's actually in the in the window that's at the very top go into the multi-track that's on the bottom part it's directly underneath where it says clip click on that name it um, I'm gonna go ahead and put test um, and then send it to the desktop. You can send it to like wherever your project currently is at. But in this example, like I said, I'm just going to send it to the desktop. Go ahead and send in. Yep. So go ahead and send that there. All right. So this brings up the multi-track um, portion of Audition. Uh, don't let this intimidate you. All we're going to worry about is the, is the very first track on top. All right. So we're going to go ahead and drag um, our soundtrack directly in to that first track go ahead and take up the rest of the slack so all right so there we go we've got the entire five minute and 51 second portion here but like i said um for this example we've got a two minute and 30 second video that we're trying to fit this into so go ahead and go to properties and if properties isn't here um you hit window and then go to properties it comes up and you see this little portion here that says um, enable remix. So go ahead and hit that. Uh, go ahead and give it a chance to render out. This is actually taking long as shit. God damn. All right, it's done analyzing. So here we go. Uh, go ahead and go back into the properties and you see the portion where it says remix. Go ahead and hit that drop down menu and hit, go ahead and hit um, enable remix. Mine's already enabled because you know what I'm saying I just I just used it not too long ago. So go ahead and enable it. Once it's enabled, you'll see a target duration directly underneath it. All you got to do is stick your um, pointer mouse over it and click to the left or to the right. I'm going to go ahead and click it down. Um, or you can actually put the time into. So let's go ahead and do that. That's probably the easier way to do it. So go ahead and put um, two minutes and for this example, 30. We're going to put 30. All right, so it go, it'll go ahead and chop it down for you and figure out kind of the best spot to um, figure out where to put those cuts in to make it to make it seem more natural. And let's go ahead and hear what this sounds like. And as you can see right here, I'll go ahead and pause real quick. Uh, right here, um, during the squiggly line portion is where the, um, you can kind of see that this is where Audition decided where to do the cut. So let's go ahead and speed up to that portion. So it's very seamless, man. And go ahead and listen to it one more time. Take over me. So pretty seamless, man. Like you couldn't even notice it that it was there. Like I said, if you had, let's say, um, a 10 minute video and this is a five minute and 51 second, we can go ahead and put um, 
I'll go ahead and do this example for y'all. Um, let's go 1030, whatever. 1030. All right, it'll go ahead and analyze. And um, it'll go ahead and put those cuts in and stitch it up for you. All right, so here goes all the cuts, man. I'll just fast forward straight to the cuts. Boom. Seamless. That one's seamless. Seamless. All right, we'll go ahead and see what this stitching sounds like. All right. Um, I would recommend kind of doing what I'm doing, just kind of double checking and making sure the um, the stitches do sound seamless. But for the most part, Audition does a pretty good job at stitching together the soundtrack for you. All right, guys, that about wraps up this video. I appreciate y'all sticking around for this tutorial. If you guys found any value in this video, don't hesitate to hit that thumbs up and leave me a comment. Other than that, thanks for dropping by and I'll see y'all in the next video.